starting with Mr. Viewer 3.81 Scrabby has moved to the left mouse button and drag if you click the left mouse button and drag it will move and and do the scrubbing this is a new action and in the action tools which used to be called paint tools you can see the scrubbing mode right there to go back to the area selection you click on that and then you can select an area for color information like the color area which displays the mean range, minimum, maximum of the area. With the color area selected, you can still do a histogram of that area or a vector scope of that area. Mr. Viewer supports cache preloading. If you go to the preferences and in the caches section, you will see a preload cache. When this is on, and we can save it so that the change is permanent, when you hit OK, you see that the timeline loads automatically all the frames. This allows you to load the frames while you are while you are waiting once the frames are loaded you can play them back as usual you can of course change the channel and it will automatically load the frames again for example the normal or the point or the indirect diffuse for example Hi, in this tutorial we'll see how Mr. Viewer supports the CTL ACES workflow. In this case we start with a log image captured by a Sony camera. We go to the media info and the first thing we do is we select the input device transform. This transform is to turn the log image into an into a standard linear image. In this case we know that the Sony S log image uses this transform. Once we do that, if we want to see it, we have to attach a monitor transform also. In this case, we'll go to attach the linear to S RGB OPPO device transform. So we see it in the monitor as RGB we select the root and we see here how the image is linear if we want to work in film we need to add two different transforms we first have to uh, apply the render transform which we use the reference rendering transform or RRT this conflicts with the OPPO device transform of, of RGB that we have so we need to change it. In this case, we go to the monitor and we select an academy transform, the RX701 transform, which should be okay for the monitor. And here we see the rich colors of the linear transform, which looks really nice. The loot that we create can be controlled further with the size of the 3D loots. In this case, we're using a 64 by 64, but 128 by 128 should give us much more accuracy. Although it consumes more memory. Now, once we have this, we might want to do some color correction, like apply a bleach pass or an asp or some other cube color correction. For that, in the media info window, 
we have the look more transformed. In this case, we'll create one from a from a 3DL loot. We use the standalone utility ship with Mr. Viewer, which is 3DL to CTL point RG, RB for Ruby or point Py for Python. And we create a loot in the CTL directory of MR Viewer. In this case, we call it LMT for loop mode transform, and we give it a name Aspen CTL. Once we do that, we can pick it up here in the LMT, here LMT Aspen, and here is the result. We see a color bridge pass that creates some we are colors in this case but can be useful for some other image and that's all one issue with the ACES workflow is that it relies on several CTL files remembering all the CTL files can be difficult so for that we have whenever you save a file for example, a frame. And we save the frame as Sony, for example, DPX. An option to save the ACES metadata appears. This allows you to save the all the transforms into a separate file called ACES clip, name of the file, dot XML. This XML file. as we can see in the log that's the XML file MR Viewer is smart enough to load the file whenever you say we open it for example if we open the Sony DPX file we go to the logs and we can see that it loaded also the XML file of the transforms with that, we can see that the loot is already applied and the images look identical. One feature of Mr. Brewer's CTL transforms is that it allows to emulate the camera color corrections. If we go to the image and select modify CTL ASCII CDL SOP saturation it will create four different transforms for loop mode transforms that allow you to change the scale, slope, offset and power and saturation of the image for example we select all saturation to be off we can turn into a black and white image almost these transforms are also saved in the ACES clip file and they can be loaded from an ACES clip file from another uh, from another provider, for example the camera. 